Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. So today's video is a delicious smoked turkey soup recipe. Stay tuned. In my bowl I have some ingredients already chopped up. So this is three scallions, four cloves of garlic, and one and a half onions. And what I have here is my chopped root vegetables. So this is half a butternut squash, four sweet potatoes, and three carrots. You can add potatoes as well if you like that in your soup. I have a large pot here that I've added water to and brought to a boil. So I'm gonna add the onions, garlic, and root vegetables and put the lid on. And I have my stove on medium heat so that all of this simmers. Now on to the smoked turkey. I have here two smoked turkey drumsticks that I bought from Costco. Now I'm just gonna slice the meat off the bone and then cut them into smaller pieces. Turkey drumsticks are quite big as you can see, so these two will give a good amount of meat for the soup. And I love using smoked turkey because the smoking process really gives it a rich, delicious flavor. I had a couple drumsticks in the freezer, so I decided to add it to the soup as well. So now I'm adding the turkey along with the bones. I add the bones as well because it will add even more flavor to the soup. This is a hearty soup and it'll keep you full for a very long time. I'm gonna add some salt and some dried thyme, about one tablespoon each. And this is some homemade pepper because we really like the spice, but of course this is optional. So I'm gonna stir this around, put the lid back on, and once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna lower the heat to medium and let it simmer for about one hour. So after an hour, I'm adding one pouch of chicken noodle soup mix. You can use vegetable or chicken bouillon cubes instead. And I'm gonna cover this again and let this simmer for 30 minutes more. After about 20 minutes, you can give it a bit of a taste test to see if you need a little more salt or if you wanna add any more seasonings. The soup is done, so I'm gonna take out all the bones before serving. I make this soup for our family every Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner, and it's always a hit. Thanks so much for watching and happy cooking.